KRMG News Time now. It is 511. If you visit the Tulsa Police Department's website, there is a page that lists all of the police chiefs who've served our city. There are 40 names there, and there's photos of most of them. Every one of those chiefs share two things in common. They are male and white. Recently, Tulsa began a search for its next police chief, and in the run-up to the anniversary of the Tulsa Race Massacre, the, the process has come under a lot of scrutiny. KRMG goes in-depth. And here's KRMG's Russell Mills. In Tulsa, the mayor ultimately has the power to appoint a police chief. How he or she goes about that process, though, is subject to change. Now that Chief Jordan's retiring, the group which pushed the city to study racial disparities wants a seat at the table in the search for his replacement. Greg Robinson with Demanding Adjust Tulsa. Demanding Adjust Tulsa is really uh, a collaboration uh, of organizations, uh, some in the nonprofit sphere. And they have members from around the city, he told me. Groups like Action that represent uh, 20 or so uh, congregations uh, that are primarily in South Tulsa. Um, you've got uh, representatives from the Latinx community, uh, representatives from all different sides of Tulsa. Their plan is to get as many people as possible involved. We're going to write letters. Uh, we're going to get on social media. We're going to get on TV if necessary and simply demand that our elected officials take this serious and take a real look at it. Robinson says the mayor and city councilors have said the right things. They appear to be listening. His group now wants them to put those ideals into practice. When you hear the mayor, he talks about trust being um, incredibly important. He talks about um, equity within the police department being incredibly important. Um, and so that's why we're saying, hey, oh, in this police chief process, trust begins not after you hire a chief. It begins with the process that you undertake to hire that chief. The law, he believes, does not get applied equally to people of color in our city. Does that have to be the future? No. Do we think that it is the way that most of the officers uh, want it to be? Absolutely not. But we have to stop protecting um, a history uh, that we shouldn't be proud of. And we have to face it and then say, what do we need to do differently that we didn't do before? And we would contend that where that can start is by having an open process. The solution is inclusion, he says, and transparency, beginning with a broad list of candidates. A national search for the best police chief possible, the naming of those finalists, and then to have the community be able to speak with them, ask their questions, and provide that feedback to the mayor. All of this, remember, playing out against the background of the upcoming centennial of the Tulsa Race Massacre. Russell Mills, 1023 KRMG, Tulsa's News and Talk. 514, Fox 23 and KRMG, Chief Meteorologist.